Researchers in California are working on the next generation of diet pills. Yeah, and uh, get this, they say these ones can trick the body into thinking it has already eaten. Sounds too good to be true? Our health reporter Pauline Chen tells us how it's supposed to work. I'll, um, I'll believe it when I experience it. Listen <laughs> up, right? Ken yeah. Michelle, thanks very much. Scientists at the Salk Institute say their pill, which has only been tested on mice so far, works in a whole different way, and they hope someday it can help people who suffer from diabetes and obesity. When you're eating, there are dozens of hormones that start going through your body to tell your brain that you're taking in calories. One of the ways that happens is that there are actually stretch receptors in the stomach that start to stretch when we've had food coming into it. Scientists at the Salk Institute focused on the intestines' role in releasing bile and digesting foods, and they've developed a drug called fexeramine, which they say triggers the release of digestive juices, in essence tricking the body into thinking it's already eaten. When you eat food, your body begins a process of breaking down that food. And what we have done is discovered a process of mimicking that without the food intake. Most current diet pills go into the bloodstream and can cause side effects such as heart disease, high blood pressure and insomnia. Fixeramine does not go into the bloodstream. It targets the intestines, causing fewer side effects. In mice which were both obese and diabetic, the drug stopped weight gain and reduced fat and blood sugar levels. It also lowered cholesterol and minimized inflammation. We are very hopeful that this drug or an advanced modification of this drug will be very effective in treating diabetes and obesity. But dietitian Kara Rosenblum cautions listeners against thinking this is some kind of miracle pill. Even if this does work, right now it's in mice, we studied in mice. Even if we find this does work, it still would have to be in conjunction with a healthy diet and physical activity. So there's no really easy way out and people are always looking for that. And she says eating foods that are high in fiber like vegetables, legumes and whole grains can also help trigger that feeling of fullness when you're eating and sustain that feeling longer. Now the next stage for the scientists is to begin clinical trials in humans, which they hope to do in the next two to three years. The study is published in the journal Nature Medicine. With today's Lifetime, I'm Pauline Chan.